All right, round one, we have the choice. We're going to play first. And, uh, yeah. Keeps these. It's actually a pretty cool turn progression. Opponent mulligans. Keeps it six. We'll open it up with a Pegasus and pass. All right, let's drop a brain maggot. See what we've got in our opponent's hand here. So we've got sigiled skink. Ordeal of perforos. Seder. Nick Smith. Hmm. So. No removal. Could cut the skink. Could cut the ordeal. I'm not sure, actually. Maybe the Nick Smith. See that guy being kind of nasty. Let's do the let's do the Nick Smith. And we'll pass. a good draw. Let's play a Scholar and pass. Could have attacked with Brain Maggot, but I'd rather not. So Skink and Nick Smith. The only card we know about now is Ordeal. All right. All right. So I think we just take four here. Could have ordeal of perforos soon here, so have to try and be careful of that. But. For now, we'll play the Hoplite. I'd like to get in with the Scholar, but I already know about the ordeal of Perforos I have to deal with, so... I think we're going to chill one more turn. Just waiting for the right opportunity. I guess I could have swung Scholar and Loyal Pegasus there. I'm probably being overly cautious. So I'm going to start <coughs> attacking here pretty soon.
All right, so we block with hoplite. We give pro red. And we get to remove a counter too, which is pretty awesome. Should have actually double blocked, I guess. Yeah, it's pretty tough. Can't do anything about that. So he successfully two for one us, unfortunately. So I guess I should have maybe blocked differently, but I would have had to have blocked with Pegasus and Scholar as well. But since I left him back, that might have been wise. Uh, hopefully we can get a land here. Yeah, so now we can play Hopeful. Eidolon. But I don't know what we're playing it on, to be honest. Yeah, I actually don't know what we play it on now. Losing the hoplite, unfortunately, was a pretty big deal. Let's see. I guess we could hopeful the... Really have no idea here. Why didn't I get to... Oh, I see. The counter wasn't placed on it. Okay, that makes sense. So that follow the hammer was just way good. Uh, do I put it on a Pegasus? It can't attack alone. It seems a bit sketchy, but at the same time, it does net me the most life. Guess we have to go for that. I can't really stay back anymore, unfortunately, because of the ordeal. So I got to swing with Scholar and Pegasus. And then we're going to trade Maggot for Sigiled Skink. He's going to get his Nick Smith back, but it's just the way it goes. Not even waiting for blocking. All right, guess he'll get us for seven. We've still got the life gain going, which is nice. There's a land, so I think we just swing Pegasus Scholar again. This time we'll play the Griffin. So he's going to attack, he's going to have to kill our Pegasus. Because it's gaining us too much life. See if he does it during the attack step again. Five, six, seven, eight, nine damage he can deal to us. Well, I guess we just block it. While we still can. Gain a life for the trouble. No plays. That's pretty good. Let's get that little fella out there. So 
So we'll get in for three, bring him to nine. All right, Mastiff. So I guess I could trade with the Skull Cleaver and then just clean up with... He gets his Nick Smith back, though, if I do that. <clears throat> um... Hmm. It's not the worst trade. He does get his Nick Smith, but he can't play it. And he's so low on life. I think we trade. Because if I don't draw an enchantment, I'm not going to be able to get by the Mastiff. And then this guy's just not doing anything, so... I think it's worth worth trying to trade. No plays. Sun Guide's pretty good since we get to swing with Griffin. Play Sun Guide and use Scholar. He bottomed the card that he scried with Skink. Alright, tap on the Sun Guide. Nick Smith. And Ordeal. Alright. Multiple Ordeal of Perforos is pretty amazing. He shouldn't attack with the skink. Yeah, he figured that out. But good news is we get to block the Nick Smith this turn, so we don't have to take any damage. I think that we do have this. He's got to do a lot of work here. And tapping the Sun Guy is just gaining us more life, too. And at this point, I think, yeah, I think he's dead. I'd be uh, pretty impressed if he could seal the deal on this one. He's going to have to deal 19 by the time I'm done with him. So that's going to be tough, I think. Scholar's pretty amazing. Alright. 
So we got game one. We're playing against red white. Aggro. Multiple ordeal of Perforos. We do have Feast of Dreams. We have the Hoplite, which could help. Life gain's a huge deal, so cruel feeding and hopeful Eidolon. Sun Guide. I actually have a fair amount of life gain in here. The reprisal is going to be great had we seen it uh, because the ordeals are going to make his guys big. Necrobite doesn't seem terrible. Especially, no, I guess not. Um, probably not that. It's probably too pricey. Nixon Fusion could be good. None of his guys were enchantment dudes. Could need Nixon Fusion could be good. Let's bring that in. And let's cut... Uh, The Read the Bones, maybe? Maybe we don't... As much as card draw is good, maybe we'd rather just have more removal instead and not have to punish our own life total, especially if he's aggressive. Um, yeah, I think I can get behind that. Let's try this. Uh-oh, a little one-lander. No, I think we're going to maul this. Although, hopeful with mortal obstinacy is kind of cool, but a little bit too much eggs in one basket there. Uh-oh. Hoplite into Ordeal of Perforos is going to be a quick game if we can't find some goodness here. Maybe I bring in the Eye Gouge, too, if he's got Hoplite. That way, Sigiled Skink and Hoplite can both be killed pretty easily. It's curving out pretty nice. And we had to mulligan, so... <clears throat> this could be challenging. All right. Maybe he's got Ordeal of Perforos here. And then we can Feast of Dreams, whatever he's doing it to. Just playing a bunch of dudes. Alright, that's pretty troublesome for us then. If he's got that many dudes, none of which are enchantments. Basically just peed out his whole hand. Probably just extremely so start. Yeah, that was a bad draw too. Um, I guess we'll trade off the <clears throat> Sudama. But, no, I guess we'll do the, well, it's going to suck either way, isn't it? Nah, they're both going to suck. I guess we'll do the Iconoclast. Maybe Sudama's better for coming back eventually. Probably the most underwhelming thing we could have done on turn four after doing nothing, turns one through three. All right, blocking the hoplite. We're so close to losing this game anyway. Jeez. Our deck looks really underwhelming right now.
guess we play the Sudama and pass. I'm going to need a land, and even then we need two more lands before we can even hope to kill supply line cranes, unfortunately. Guess we'll play the Griffin. So close to death. Yeah, our creatures are terrible. I guess after sideboard, I'm going to have to look at our creatures because our creatures are absolutely just look dreadfully bad. So we're going to have to figure out what we're doing here that was that was terrible these guys look absolutely dreadful in this match um cheaper stuff cheaper stuff do we have it battle priest gains life and blocks that guy's gonna be good great heart let's bring that in that thing blocks looks good guardians can block they're not good against ordeals though i guess neither are the other guys so that's a moot point Let's get rid of uh, Iconoclast because it's too much mana. Decorated Griffin, same thing. It's just too expensive. Rather pay less and get a blocker. Could technically cut the lamp pads too, but now we're starting to run low on actual ways to win. I guess we have heroic guys. I think Guardians are going to be, I'm going to be disappointed with them overall. Just wish I had cheaper creatures. Alright, let's try it again, I guess. Play first. Yeah, we can keep it, although... Not a very exciting hand, again. At least we can Banishing Light this time, I guess. If he ordeals something. That was a good draw. All right, just going to swing into it, not banishing light it, hopefully he ordeals it, and then I'm going to feel a lot better about banishing light. All right, might need a Banishing Light that at some point, but gain our life for now. And we'll play our land, swing into the Line Breaker, and then play a Great Heart. Let's just get his ordeal out of the way now. Banishing Light. Alright, that's pretty good.
no ordeal. <clears throat> Oh, wow, okay. It's pretty good. I think we stay back. I don't want to trade a sun guide for a snare caster. I'm just going to leave up Feast of Dreams and get Banishing Light ready if I need it. No attacks, no plays, that's good. Let's do lamp pad on our sun guide and then you can kill it if he wants. Otherwise we'll get in. And he'd have to double block. Which is okay too. Cruel feeding's pretty good. Potential to gain eight life out of nowhere, sort of. All right, so we block the sun guide. Just the skull cleaver and a snare caster. Hmm. All right, so everything again. Everything with the line breaker. Looks like he can't decide. We'll take four. Tap, gain our life. Sudama, pretty good. Let's get in with our sun guide again. Play a Forlorn Sudama, we'll leave up Feast of Dreams, Cruel Feeding. Alright, can actually feast of dreams that. So hopefully he makes a bad attack here. Hmm. It's interesting. That's a great draw. Getting more life gain going. Could have double blocked this whole time. I wonder if he realizes that. I'm not sure he does. Gain a bunch of life. Pass. Still have a banishing light and cruel feeding.
Fuck it. Let's kill the line breaker. I could have done both with a cruel feeding, but I didn't feel like it. I'd rather save the cruel feeding for later if I need it. I mean, he'd be he's in a he's in a pretty rough situation here. Yeah. All right. Well, drew pretty nice in game 3, thankfully, because uh, I think his deck was, you know, fairly well matched against ours. Like I said, we, we don't have a super powerful deck, so we really just needed to see the nice spot removal, and we didn't even have to use the Banishing Light, which is really nice, so that worked out. All right, I'll see you in round two.